Hi, welcome to my very, very first YouTube video. My name is Tia, I go by Tia America here on YouTube and on Instagram I go by at TSN86. So if you do want to follow me, I will link, leave links down below where you can follow me on other social media. Um, today I was thinking we should do kind of like a using my favorite current favorite products video i thought that that would be a good video to start with my youtube journey what do you guys think but um i was initially thinking of doing kind of like a get ready with me so um, in the first clip i might say this is going to be get ready with me but it kind of turned out to be a uh, kind of more like a tutorial using my favorite products so if you're confused <laughs> it's okay I am too but I thought I would tell a little bit more about me on this intro and then we can go and see the tutorial part so my name is Tia I live in Finland um, English isn't my first language I'm sure you can hear it but I thought that I still wanted to do um, these YouTube videos on English and not in Finnish language, al uh, although that's my native language. But I thought that this way I could reach maybe more people and also all my IG and all my friends that have encouraged me to do YouTube are English and they speak English. So I wanted them to be able to watch my videos too. Um, so I do live in Finland and I have um, my, I live with my boyfriend of 10 years, we've been together 10 years, and with my cat called Cleopatra. You may hear her uh, during my video because it's very vocal cat, so be aware of that. I will warn you, there will be cat meowing. Um, I think that's that for now. I will do kind of like if you guys want, maybe at some point I can do kind of like Q&A video and tell more about me. This video is more about the makeup, but it's okay for now. Um, and I was quite nervous to film my first video, so... If I miss any info, please leave me comments down below asking it. I will answer all my comments. Um, and I think that's that. Let's get into it. Let's get into the look. Hi. So, like I said in the intro, we're going to do a get ready with me with my current favorite products. And I have started my brows already. Like, I have used my soap to brush my hairs like up and outwards. And now I'm gonna fill them. And my favorite, my favorite brow products at the moment are, I have two. I have the Maybelline brow pencil and the Primark one. And I'm gonna use the Primark one first. So I'm just gonna draw some hair strokes and fill my brows a bit. Like the places where I don't, where I have these kind of bald spots. So. Nothing much, just a little bit of product. Okay, now that I have my brows filled, I'm gonna go with an eyeshadow base. And I'm using the P. Louise eyeshadow base. This is my favorite one. I won't do my eyeshadow without this base. I feel like it uh, gives me a really nice plank canvas. And also, it kind of helps the 
blending and the pigmentation to be the best that it can. So if you haven't seen it, it looks like this. And I'm using the shade, I have two. I use the white when I cut my crease. If I want the kind of the, the part that it's cut to be super white. But I use uh, shade Zero Rumor 05 to my to to ask my eyeshadow base i'm very fair so i'm using the lightest shade i believe that it is the lightest shade so i'm gonna pick a brush like i'm using a plank canvas e 44 and i'm putting the p louis base on my hand and i'm starting to carve my brows so and I like to use kind of like this straight brush that is very you can use the shape of the brush to your advantage and I'm starting to carve the underneath of my brow kind of want to take your time and be as precise as you can and then you want to blend it downwards okay and then I'm gonna take my brush that I'm gonna use to apply the base on my lid and this is the Sigma E75 and I'm just tapping the base like now we want to build a coverage not um, we don't need at this point to have a smooth as possible yet but you do want to try and coat the eyelid and I go to my inner corner too because I find that if I bring my base to kind of like the side of my nose it's easier to blend out into your foundation later but I'm now just tapping this base on. And then I will take a sponge, any sponge will do, and I will tap out. It will remove the excess base and it also will give you the smoothest, the smoothest um, base you can get. Okay, now my eyes are primed and ready. I will just tap out the creases and I zoomed you guys a bit closer so you can see what I'm doing today I'm gonna use my beautiful Jack and Jaclyn Hill volume 2 palette I got this as a present uh, to my, fa my friend Teresa Mulhern, she's on YouTube too, so please check her out. Um, she bought me this as my present. So it looks like this. And I'm thinking I'm gonna do something purpley and maybe something with that kind of very bright orange and something like that and I think I'm gonna do a cut crease so that's kind of like my plan let's see how's it gonna go so I'm gonna start with I'm gonna pick a brush do something like Okay, so I'm gonna start with my darkest shade, darkest 
shape that I'm gonna use. And the space will crease if you have a, a hooded eyes, but uh, as long as you tap out the creases before you go with the eyeshadow, it won't crease after you have put the eyeshadow on top. So I'm going with the, say, the darkest shade besides the black in the palette. And it's called Crazy. So I'm going to pick that on my brush. Am I in focus? I'm going to pick that on my brush. And I'm starting to create my shape little packing motions you don't need to blend at this point just pack the color on your crease and if you have a hooded eyes please make sure that you are taking the shade when you look straight forward kind of like this you want to make sure that the shade is over that fold you have on your lid so it it will be visible after even if your eyes are open so you won't be doing all this work for nothing if it doesn't show when you have your eyes open just little tapping motion. We are just packing the pigment now. And when you have your first shade packed, like on the desired like shape onto your eye i'm gonna lift this eye a bit you can see that this eye is a much higher and you kind of want to keep the the shapes as similar as similar as possible so when you have like your desired shape i'm gonna uh, remove the excess product on my brush and then I'm going to take no product on the brush uh, and I'm starting to like doing a really small circular emotions back and forth motion and I'm blending this shade out just a bit so when we add our next shade it's gonna be a little bit more easier to blend out but this palette is this shade are blend very nicely so so this step isn't necessary you could go straight to the so to the next shade and do a next shade and i'm gonna pick a dance part it is hot pink shade it it kind of has a little bit of glitter in it but I think it's just for the blending and I'm using the dose of colors brush that comes with the uh, the little palettes like I have the sassy sienna so that is from this and the first brush I forgot to say what I was using was Luxy one to one mini tapered so now I'm going with the shade dance part and I'm going like 50% on the previous shade and 50% on bare skin, like the just the base that we don't have colors. And you want to use very, very light pressure. Like you don't want to move your skin at all. I find that with this method, you can get a nice blend like very very light pressure and start to build up that color and blend it out
and then you want to go back with your preview shade and it was the shade crazy and take a little bit of that and blend these two colors together I do a lot of back and forth blending and I use always a different brush for every color that I uh, add on my eyes. I feel like if you use the same brush for all the colors, maybe you say color switch between them or, or something like that because I feel like it gets uh, muddy if you don't. A little bit muddy if you use the same brush for every color. Okay, now I have blended those two shades together. And now I'm thinking I'm gonna mix the brightest pink shade called Tipsy Curl and the kind of like the bone color shade, the certified together. And with those, I'm gonna blow out this uh, deeper pink. And I'm using my favorite brush. I use this brush always. Uh, on the last color with the lightest color when I want really nice fade to my skin and this is the plank canvas e10 brush and This is you can see that this is kind of flimsy So it will give a very nice blend. This is not clean, <laughs> but I have um, used the color switch on it and so there's nothing on that brush like a previous color and I'm just again going 50% on the previous shade and 50% on the bare skin and I might have to go with the just the certified shade Later, if this mixture isn't light enough, but let's see. And I like to do this kind of a pack and forth windshield wipe promotions and little, little circles. And the pressure has to be very, very, very. You don't want to move your eyelid, you just want to tickle it tickle your skin that's kind of like the best explanation i have had it tickle your skin and i just feather this out and i like the look of blending this almost to kind of like the start of my brow i like a very blown out um eyeshadow looks So you can see that I'm blending this quite far. Now I'm going with just the certified shade, just to kind of more fade this pink. That's my cat Cleopatra meowing on the background. Um, I could maybe introduce her to you guys. She doesn't. Okay, so here's my cat Cleopatra. Say hi to YouTube. Say hi. Her name is Cleopatra, um, she's our 10 year old her baby and we're getting a kitten on Saturday so I'm very excited to get a friend to Cleopatra so that's very exciting so hmm. she's in mommy's love like hi okay I'm gonna put you down she doesn't really like to be held so and now there's 
Her hair is flying everywhere. But um, now I have roughly sketched the kind of the where I want my cut crease to go. And now I'm gonna cut it with the Beelwiz paste. And I'm now using the white one. I'm just gonna squeeze it on my back. And I'm gonna use the same brush that I used to spread my eyeshadow base on the lid. So it's the Sigma F75 brush. And I have flattened out the brush so it's very flat. And I'm gonna take the product just on the tip of the brush. And you kind of want to have um quite a lot of product there so we can stamp the product in and now i'm gonna start with this i'm resting my elbow on my desk so i can can get more control i'm gonna stamp and pull Stamp and pull. This is very basic technique. And we're gonna clean it up afterwards, but now we just want to get the product on there as neatly as possible. And add product on your brush when needed, so you won't have quite a lot, as I said, on your brush. So. Now I'm gonna just fill the lid, also stamping the product in. Okay, now that we have our cut crease ready to go, we just don't want any creases there. You could just kind of, and I have this with tapping with your finger helps the product go over smoothly. And I'm just taking, this is a no-name brush, a bit more fluffier. And I'm gonna take the shade called My Man, the bright orange. And I'm gonna tap it in on the lid. This is very pigmented. Make sure, and this is kind of like a neon sage, so you want to show you're tapping it in evenly. And as I get more on there, close to the cut crease, um, trying to be more precise you don't want to go over the line you have made okay so we're this is where we are now we have packed the orange all over the cut crease area and now we need to start to blend this outer corner and Firstly, let's take a small pencil brush. I'm using a PH Cosmetics brush. This is from their Rose Gold set and Rose Gold brush set. And I'm gonna take something between the orange and the deep purple. So I'm gonna take the red shade from the palette and it's called living my best and i'm starting to a little bit kind of just tap it on their outer corner the red is more easy to blend with that burgundy really deep purpley shade than orange so we just wanna tap 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 t
tapping motions and fade and we can also go back with our orange and tap 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 just a little tapping motions this part takes a little bit time but you get there as you're being a bit more and then and now you kind of want to take the darkest shade and that was the shade crazy and just tap it out So now I want to use some glitter and I have this H&M, where is it, there you can see it maybe, H&M Glitter Rotty Mascara Liner in the shade Cosmic Rays and I want to, I don't like the brush that it has, it's a bit chunky so I'm taking it with the liner brush. This is from BH Cosmetics because I want the line to be as uh, thin as possible. So I'm going and starting to line the cut crease. I think this is just giving some extra to the look, so it's not completely matte. You want to keep the line under the, um, the cut crease line, like that over the orange area and not go over the cut crease line. Okay, now I have the glitter. I did two layers on both eyes and this side got a bit um, more chunky than that one, but that's fine. Now I'm gonna do some liner. Just gonna find my... I'm loving the... Maybelline Master Brassage felt tip liner at the moment. This has been my favorite. And I'm kind of wanted to do a chunky wing. So I'm not doing a wing, I'm kind of doing this diagonal shape and then ending it there. And kind of feather it out on the edge here kind of do this feather it is and you blend it out just sticking in the line I never do these thick lines I have a fairly hooded eye, so I can go a bit crazy if I do that. Then I need a... I'm gonna do pick a small uh, pencil brush and I'm gonna take the black on the palette. It's called Temptress. And I'm tapping out this corner. This black is very pigmented so use it with carefully. And I can at the same time darken my edges. Now I have my eyes almost finished. We're gonna do the lower lash line last and now we can go to primer. 
So I'm gonna use two primers today. I'm gonna use the Essence Glow Boosting Primer to give me moisture and glow. And then I'm gonna use the Elf Poreless Putty Primer as to kind of smooth down my face and give me as smooth as possible foundation. So I zoomed you guys out a bit so um, it's gonna be a little bit nicer. So this Essence one has a shimmer. It's kind of like this pinkish, where did I say, pinkish um, consistency and I really like this one. This is probably like my favorite drugstore kind of like glowy primer at the moment and that's why I picked it for this video and then I'm gonna go with the elf primer I'm just gonna take a chunk of it on my hands and this is good primer because it's not um drying as a most of um kind of like these smooth and primers are so that's why i like this one so now that we have a primed our skin i'm gonna go with the foundation and i've been loving these two, the Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid and a Revolution Pro Full Cover. I might just mix them today. I haven't done that actually. Maybe so, a couple of pumps of the Dream Satin Liquid from Maybelline and then a little squeeze of the, a lot of squeeze of the uh, of the Revolution Pro cover and I'm gonna mix it on my hand and I think this will be a better color for me too because the Maybelline one I have in color O2 through Ivory and this is a bit too yellow and a bit too dark for me and the Revolution Pro I have it in the color F1 so let's Move my mirror a bit closer like that and I'm using a Primark sponge well, my friend uh, sent them to me from UK because in Finland we don't have a Primark so I can get it here but my lovely friend was so nice and she sent me a couple of things that I cannot get from from Finland so the eye part was a kind of like a tutorial even though I was supposed to do a um, kind of like a get ready with me so I might just do it um, like the eye part keeping it as a tutorial because now it's filmed and I'm like I can't help it and my cat is me <laughs> my cat is uh, I'm filming in our living room, so my cat was just pooping and now she needs to let everyone know that. Okay, I'm back now. I blended out the foundation while I needed to move my files from my phone to my computer because my memory was full and it wasn't allowing me to film anymore, so... I had some technical difficulties but now I'm back so I blended out the foundation now and I'm gonna go with the concealer I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer with the e.l.f. camo concealer um, the camo concealer is quite new to me still so it's not like a favorite now but oh my eyes start into water so I hope that it doesn't ruin my eye makeup. 
so what was I saying? So the e.l.f. camo concealer is quite new to me still and um, uh, it's not a favorite yet but I like it because it's fairly light and I can mix it with concealers that are too dark for me like for example this Too Faced concealer uh, although it's in a shade snow it's still um, too dark for me because I'm so pale so I need to if I want it to be more brighting I need to make some lighter concealer in so I'm just blending out the concealer I quite like I have now used a maybe two to three times these two mixed and I quite like the mixture because the Too Faced one is quite hydrating and the Elf one is quite dry so they make a pretty good mixture together so I'm just blending out the under eye and so now that I have my concealer blended, I'm gonna use a powder and I'm using e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. This I bought because of a Make Me Up Missa on YouTube. She's a um, beauty YouTuber that has created this group for her Patreon followers. And that is kind of why I wanted to start um, my YouTube channel too because I kind of got inspired by the group and I did a live we have a Facebook group and WhatsApp group and and um, so in the Facebook group I did some lives and I also got some requests to start a YouTube channel so I was thinking it about before that but um I was kind of hesitant to start because of my English and I didn't have a kind of like I thought I needed to have a camera and like a, a real camera not my phone and and lightings and everything set out before I start and and then I kind of like got the courage to start it this way and if I don't like it it's better that I haven't bought a kind of like the whole camera lighting everything if I don't kind of want to do this so this way I can try this and and see if I like this and then if I do like it and want to do this more I can go and buy a camera and, and ring light and everything so I think that's quite a good idea I'm not sure how my eye makeup is going to look because of that because of my eyes starting to water but um I'm just gonna leave it now and then I'm trying to fix it um where I go and do my under eyes but this is my skin now with the uh, powder concealer and foundation so It's looking like this we do have some luminosity still like this powder gives you still some luminosity on your skin so I like that and I don't set my like between my brows because my skin is a bit finicky on there so I do want to leave that without powder and I usually don't set my full face I set like the perimeter of my face and my under eyes the places I'm gonna crease so I'm liking how my skin looks okay now that I have my base 
done. I'm gonna do some contouring. And I'm using my favorite. This has, um, the second I bought it and use it, this has replaced all my contouring palettes and everything. So this is the Essence Contouring Duo. And I have it on the shade 10 Lighter Skin. And this is too because of the Make Me Up Misha. I have a lot of favorites that I have bought because of her. So I'm mixing the two shades on my brush. Uh, that uh, usually gives me the best um, contouring shade. And I'm starting to contour my cheeks. Uh, and you can see this is a very nice contouring color. It's not too cool, it's not too warm, it's just Perfect. I usually contour my forehead too because I have a ten head <laughs> instead of a forehead. So I usually like to contour this area and make my forehead to look a little bit more like it's smaller but you don't have to do this if you don't like but I like the look of contouring and bronzer on my forehead I think it makes me look less pale and it really kind of brings the face makeup together now I'm gonna go back with my powder brush and just blending the edges and I'm starting at the like in top of my ear and I go directly like it downwards because that's where my natural contour is <laughs> and usually if I'm just going out or leaving the house I won't contour this part of my jawline because, but if I do videos or photos, I like it how it looks on photos and on video, but not how it looks on real life. It can look like you have a stripe there if you don't be careful with the blending. But um, I really like this, how it looks on photos, but I won't do it if I'm going outside or wearing this makeup out of my house and then under my lip I like it makes my lip look a bit bigger and then I'm taking a big blending brush and I'm just taking the lightest shade and I'm a little bit contouring my nose like just a little bit I like my nose so I don't need to kind of try to make it look more narrow or make it look more more elongated or butter nosy or stuff like that i just want to kind of a little bit add some structure there excuse me i shouldn't be burping on my first youtube video <laughs> that's maybe a big no no but i just slightly contoured my nose and I I kind of like this so this is the contour okay now that we have contoured the face we I say we but I really just mean me and I'm gonna use my favorite bronzer and I like Chloe bronzers so this is really like if I have to choose one bronzer I would choose this one and this is the I Heart Revolution Summer of Love bronzer. And it's kind of like a dupe of the Too Faced. Is it Sweet Pea bronzer or something like that? And I'm just starting to warm up my skin. 
And I'm going the same direction as the contour, but a little bit more like the contour is here. So I put the bronzer here, then it goes plus highlight. You kind of want to do it in the, so it's being like a gradient. And I do like a bronzer on my forehead and this color, I don't know. This is just a summer of love. I don't know if they have different colors of this bronzer, but this one is a really nice one for pale skin. Okay, and now that we have bronzed, I'm gonna do my highlighter next. And before my highlighter, I want to spritz my face with the primer water. Primer, primer water. And then I'm using my fan. And after that, we're gonna do our highlight. So my favorite highlighters at the moment are the Nabla Skin Glazing. They look like this. I have two shades, two lightest shades, the Ozone, which is the lightest, and Privilege, which is a little bit more darker, but it still goes to my skin. So I'm gonna use the both. So first I'm gonna go with the shade Privilege, the darker one. This is kind of more like a goldy shade, and I'm gonna just... These highlighters works as like a little sheen on your skin you can use them very lightly like this that they just give you a little bit of glow on your skin and that's why i like this because you can really really customize the how um how kind of blinding and the finish is so I'm firstly just using the darker one all over my face, more liberally, and I do want to take it kind of like for to my cheeks because when the light is coming directly in front of me, I get a natural highlight there. So this is the one I'm gonna blend more and be like more all over glow and not that cons concentrated. A little bit on my cupid's bow, like that. And that gives a really nice kind of like glowy, but not too intense of a look. And then I'm gonna go with the shade Ozone. And this is more like a champagne, like a pale champagne shade and I'm taking a, a smaller brush this is an essence um, eyeshadow brush I was like thinking what brush but eyeshadow brush and now I'm taking I'm gonna highlight my highlight so that's the trick I always use um, I love to like put more concentrated blinding highlight like the spots that like just on the highest and I like a little bit just on the highest and then blend it out and I really like the look of that it gives more oomph to the highlighter and it's just excellent I don't remember who did this trick highlighting my highlight but I saw it and some I think on YouTube and after that I've been doing it and it has kind of uh, become my my trick of highlighting highlighting my highlight but that's the highlights I really like those those are like the wet skin highlighters they are not shimmery at all like they look so beautiful on the skin and so kind of like wet and glass skin like and I really like that result Okay, and next we have a blush and as the bronzer and the highlighters, I really like the glowy wet like 
glass skin like um, skin so I really like glowy blushes and I bought these um, H&M blushes they look like this H&M blushes uh, after Christmas where they were on sale at, eight, eight, at my H&M shop that is close to me and they were like something stupid like 2 euros and they usually are like 10 euros and I have two shades and these are both glowy these are called pure radiance powder plusher and I have shades coral and golden peach and they look like this and I'm gonna use today the coral one. I think it will tie in the orange on my face. And I'm using a Makeup Forever double ended brush. It doesn't even have a name. I don't know if it ever has because it's so old, but I really like this for blush. And I'm just starting to. You can see that this is really warm, corally orangey and it gives a nice warmth to my skin and I like to use blush very much like blush is my like after highlighting blush is my favorite face product like I can I I don't like to buy that many contours or um, bronzers or that stuff like I rather spend my money on blushes and highlights and and that kind of stuff that you can really see on your face and I like to put it on my nose and on my chin and then I like to blend it out here too and I just like to be really blushed when I'm wearing makeup and now I'm gonna go with my powder brush and kind of like tap the edges and now that I have finished my skin I'm gonna do my lower lash line I'm gonna pick a pencil brush and I do want to do Kind of the same shades that on the upper eye on the lower lash line so i'm starting with the crazy and i'm starting on my low outer corner like and i'm putting this shade like half way in And I want to keep it kind of concentrated at this moment. And you want to be more careful now because you have your face done that you won't mess up like that. And then I'm gonna take another brush, another pencil brush. And I make sure that it's clean and I want to take now the next shade what was dance part and I'm gonna tap it in here like blend the darker and the lighter shades together can go back and forth with the brushes don't have to blend at this moment now I just want to build the pigment underneath my eyes like it's the same with my upper lash line and my lower lash line I firstly want to add the pigment and then I want to blend it out I need maybe I just will I will just clean the brush that I used with the dance party and then I'm gonna take a tipsy curl the really bright pink and that I'm gonna leave like there 
this one is very powdery in the pan but this palette although it has a fair amount of kickback on the pan it doesn't have that much fallout so I'm happy about that so now that I have my colors packed in I will take a maybe I will take actually a clean brush this is a Sigma E25 this is just a traveling brush so that's why it's so so I'm sure but with the clean brush that has zero product in it I'm starting to blend these colors and I'm kind of dragging them on my and you want to like first blend these out and then you need to kind of just little bit blend these out and then I'm gonna go with the pink underneath the darker ones but firstly I just want to fade these and I find it easier if I look kind of like almost up on a mirror when I'm blending it then I'm gonna take a little bit more crazy and just go it again and kind of intensify it make sure it's um, connecting to the outer outer corner on my upper eye and because I don't want there to be a gap between these colors then I can take the brush that I used for my upper lash line and now I'm gonna blend out with this this still has a, some pigment in it I didn't clean it up on my color switch and that's good also I want to add some black on my outer corner so I'm taking the other side of the dose of colors brush that comes with the palette and I'm oh and this has some fallout so be careful you can fairly easy to whisk it away but and I want to kind of really intensify my outer B now I just added some black uh, kachal on my waterline and tight line and then I'm gonna use my essence mascara this is the last princess the green which is enough uh, I think this is the false last effect just coating my own lashes so when I put, put the fake lashes on top of it they have something to lay on top of and to the under eyes as well not under eyes I mean my lower lashes okay now I have added my lashes these are Rouge and Rogue Electro lashes I think they go with the look they are a bit spiky and they are more kind of um, they cover more of the outer corner and they let you show the cut crease now I'm gonna do my lips and I'm gonna use a primer lip liner in toast these lip liners are, are amazing and then I'm gonna add um, Maybelline shine lipstick in 50 baddest beige this is very nice I really like it it's um, it's kind of like a shiny semi sheer lipstick so it's gonna look amazing and I do overline my lips a bit These primer clip liners are very nice. They are creamy, they glide on, and the colors are very nice too. 
Okay, I'm quite happy with the line now. Now I'm gonna add the lipstick on top. And this is not gonna be a fully opaque color. And this is also this kind of a nudie color. Okay, it will make that kind of a nudie color. This glides on to your lips very nicely. I think we're all done now. The lips are nice. I need maybe one spritz of primer water still. And let's take the fan. And I think we're done. So what do you think? Awkward posing there. I'm so happy with the look. I really like the pink and dark pink and the orange and the glitter liner and the smoky outer corner and I really like my brows I've been really enjoying this uh, so proud technique I feel like it's it kind of looks like more finished although it's kind of like a messy brow look but this is my first look on YouTube um I thank you all of guys for watching and I have of course I have lipstick on my feet, but um, I thank you guys for watching. It was so nice of you to join for my first YouTube video and I hope there will be many more of these. If you could be so kind, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. What do you think of my first look on YouTube? That's it for me today. Bye.